December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Freedom and fear are at war. The advance of human freedom, the great achievement of our time and the great hope of every time, now depends on us. Our nation will lift a dark thread of violence from our people and our future. We will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. It is made up of men and women who raise our food, patrol our streets, man our mines and factories, teach our children, keep our homes, and heal us when we're sick. Professionals, industrialists, shopkeepers, clerks, cabbies, and truck drivers. They are, in short, we the people. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and the success of liberty. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We will never compromise our principles and standards. We will never give away our freedom. We will never abandon our belief in God. We've always needed God from the very beginning of this nation. But today we need him especially. We're facing a new kind of enemy. We're involved in a new kind of warfare, and we need the help of the Spirit of God. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. We, as Americans, have the capacity now, as we've had in the past, to do whatever needs to be done to preserve this last and greatest bastion of freedom. As we've been assured, neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth can separate us from God's love. May he bless the souls of the departed. May he comfort our own. And may he always guide our country. God bless America.